Welcome to episode 22, Big Show. We got Mike Diva here today. Woo! And also my mom reviewing American History X. Uh -oh. So, uh, yeah, no very topical. There. So stick yeah. around. We'll be right back after the intro. He was born in the 80s, somewhere in Jordan. Now he lives in Los Angeles. But we have no specific location. Chasm. 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 This is the show. This is my show. It's kind of our show. It's kind of our show. Whatever you say. Really? Hey, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to bring our guest out kind of early, early on. Yeah. Switch it up. Yeah, maybe they could be there for John the News, and we try that. Those of you that uh, don't know who Mike Diva is, he's a super talented filmmaker, and we have uh, about a minute or so of this video called Anime Fidget Spinner. So take a look at with the, uh, take, take a look. It's a good video. Take a look at like it. Take a look at take a look at like it. Take a look at like it. We'll be right back. It. Quadu digital. Hey, Bozo, are you ready for my stylish moves? My spinner's razor sharp! <laughs> 500 spins a minute! <laughs> 1,000 SPM! <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Killed John. Okay, okay, hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out Mr. Mike. Woo! Woo! Oh, Mikey good dude. pants. Hey, welcome, buddy. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for coming out. Um, Mike. Hey. What's hey, up, Mike? Mike. Yeah. First of all, very cool video. Thank you. Yeah, what do you know, Peter? I know Peter. From how? I uh, like, I was a fan of his stuff. I hit him up to be in my thing. You hear that? He's got fans out there. I was, I'm a huge fan of Mike's work. I think he's one of the best Outside directors of, of our show, time. People oh. like you. Wow. Impossible. They don't they wow. just don't know me enough yet. <laughs> I, I I say we just force you down their throats until they they get used to it. You yeah. I mean? Shove shove me wherever hey, I need who? to go. <laughs> hey, so um, look, well, there's a part of the show where uh, we bring out John Nod, my cameraman, and he does some news. And I thought maybe you we would uh, we'd hear him talk about his news, which is usually. Just very depressing. Very he depressing. Who died today, John? Yeah, yeah, a lot about death. To hear it. Who's dead? And then we'll get in and we'll talk Lots about Lots of people die every day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time for John the News. Yeah, <laughs> give it to us. John, welcome back. Thanks Most depressing news. You made yeah. it another week. Another week. Oh, another. I want to give a shout out to um, another Asian guy, uh, Steve Lee. Um, <laughs> YouTube.com slash Steve Weeby had me on his podcast this week. Please check it out. Very funny guy. Making us look bad, shows. dude. Making me look bad. One of my favorite new shows on YouTube. Yeah, I got some Asian friends from high school. Aaron Takigawa. Want to <laughs> shout you out. <laughs> I, in case you couldn't tell by today's episode and the work I've been doing this week, I love Asian yeah. people. Yeah. It's the theme. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. First news of the day. Wow. Whoa. We got to show them your handwriting oh, for once. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting little quick yeah. tangent it's at the start. Holy. Oh, look out. Can you see this? Can you see the? I say handwriting is a lost art. Oops, we lost the filter. Handwriting is a, <laughs> handwriting is a lost art these days. Wait, and I, I feel like kids don't spend it. Look at that. Look at that penmanship, dude. How you did that made. camera yeah. filter just it fall looks out? like what John? This looks like a font. Came it looks like you printed wow. this in a computer. Some it's just how I write. That's insane. Yeah. The whole, kids does today it, will never know how to write like that. Yeah, we got, yeah. Write how do you it? know? What you're writing, if you can't read, can it. you write Korean? Because right. you type. All you gotta do is type now. Yeah, but sometimes writing, you just have like that second level of learning. You know, it's imprinted you into your brain. You feel closer to the words. Writing. Yeah, you do. You yeah. feel closer Mike, to the words. Mike, you're a good filmmaker and you're a great editor. Is your handwriting oh terrible? It's the worst. <laughs> because you spent all your time doing this. I write with my <laughs> fist like a baby. Yeah. Proves wow. my theory. And you're a cameraman. You need fine fingertips to. Yeah. Well, your pen focus. helps a lot. So in the former that life, pen, that fine pen, that point five or whatever, the point seven. You gotta oh, have yeah. that point well, five, the, bro. The Pilot G two. Before that the printing five, press, people would know. big shout out to uh, big shout out to Chris's hand that's uh, right now in the show. Yeah, yes. and the Pilot G two that's sponsoring this episode, right? And Pilot G two, if you if you legit want to sponsor us, 
it's the pen that I love to use the most, but I also lose the most. Mm, yeah. I think you can get like 20 of those on eBay for like five bucks a pack. Is that a gel I'd ink? I'd rather just have them sponsor the show. <laughs> There's going to be a link in the description to uh, eBay where you can get some Pilot G2 pens. Oh, great idea. Nice. We should do that. Pilot sponsor us, please. Okay. Uh, anyways, I was very right. impressed. Sorry to, no, I'm, sorry to hold up the show. No, I, I, oh, I also want to open up some fan mail. Dude, you're all okay. Let's do that. Let's do that first. Let's have do that first. I was just trying to be. Okay. I was just trying to get in the way of your news. Now we'll do that later. Right. We do have some fan mail. We're we're gonna open later. Cool. Can I go now? <laughs> yeah. <you're right. laughs> Who died? <laughs> Billionaire Paul Allen finds lost World War II cruiser USS Indianapolis in the Philippine Sea. Uh, as you all know, Paul Allen is a Microsoft co-founder who made billions and billions of dollars off of that. He owns the Seattle Seahawks now. But he led an expedition to find the lost cruiser ship that was famously sunk during World War II. Was there gold on it? In it? No, it it completed a secret mission to the island of Tinian, right? Delivering uh, essential components for the little boy atomic bomb. And right after oh. it completed its mission, it got torpedoed and it sank. And then initially there were 800 survivors. Mm. After the after they went overboard, but are you chewing gum right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John. Can you tell us what's happening with the lens over here? I don't think it's screwing on right. Okay, interesting. Well, so. we're on the other camera, I'm assuming, happen. right? Okay, yeah, of okay. course. Okay, we've got four cameras. All right, good. Uh, hopefully, one of them is working. But yes. you got it, okay, Brett? All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, they found a ship. So what? Well, this ship is infamous in uh, U.S. naval mm -hmm. lore because. After the ship went down, there were survivors, right? Mm. But they were out lost in sea for two to three days, and like half of them got eaten by sharks. Mm. Oh. A couple of them died from dehydration, you know, exposure, things yeah. like this. There we go. But there yeah. are some dead. Wait, how do you die from dehydration if you're in the water? You can't drink that salt water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so um, they're just going to leave it at the bottom? No, they're going to uh, explore it, give out some tours, monetize it. And James, then, Cam and James Cameron <laughs> upset he's not the one who Well, I mean, he's it. so uh -huh. busy with the Titanic. I think he's doing, like, stuff on the Barrier Reef. Oh. I think that's his thing right now. Okay. Or, but uh, he's not on land. He's not on okay. land. Okay, James, James, James Cameron not on land. That's confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> There's your Cameron update that's for the day. <laughs> cool. Story number two. <laughs> nice. Cool. Nice, that wrapped up Very nicely. nice, yeah. <laughs> AccuWeather caught sending user location data even when location sharing is off. Ooh. A security researcher has found the app sends private location data without permission to a firm designed to monetize user, user locations. That company is called Reveal Mobile. Reveal Mobile uses the data solely for data and not location finding purposes according to them. Oh, they just use the data for data. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. They such just, sweet. Wait, so the news is, is. A, a, a company is using your location. Well, it's using it's your location to sell. But to don't money. they all do that? But you, but there is a specific, when you, even when you say turned off, it still yeah. does it. There's no trust. Oh, there. oh, That's when you I'm turn saying. it off. When you turn it off, it still sends it. If you can't oh. trust people you don't know making an app you know nothing about, who can you trust? Yeah, like I'm the type mom, just app user. Mom when I turn it off, I want it to actually go off. But that's just a little quirky thing about me. Yeah. I never trusted Weatherman, though. The Weatherman, he's, I don't trust that guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's... All Weathermen you don't trust? Or? Yeah, pretty much. And weather, weather people. Have you been wronged by weather people in the past? Well, I tried out for my local weather person one time. And <laughs> there it comes. There you know. <laughs> they said that... Could you uh, imagine? Yeah. Where, in, in uh, New Jersey? Uh, well, Long Island, New York. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they said uh, my accent wasn't thick enough. <laughs> Here's the deal with Long Island, right? When I went to go host this Rocket League tournament last week, uh, they told me it was going to be in New York, New York, Ma New York, Manhattan. Oh, uh, it was not, huh? And then they give me an address. <laughs> it's all the way, it's on the, and that, that part of New York is Long Island. Yeah, that's where I They don't tell up. you about that. Nah. And they just call it New York, New York. Right, and it's, it's grim it's out there. It's a sham. Yeah, it's, just <laughs> it's a, a shame, of... but you know it is like very there's like neighborhoods and stuff, and it, it was kind of nice. Oh, I yeah. didn't know like New York had that. I thought it was all just high rises and. No, I do love my people. I love where I'm from, but it's yeah. a lot of um, a lot of tight t-shirts and, and uh, <laughs> yeah. you know t-top cars chains. and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, yeah. it's cool. I, I fit in pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it that hat cool. is very Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually. Uh, it wasn't that funny, John. It was. Really <laughs> <laughs> well, he's laughing at me. He's laughing at me. But uh, cool. John, yeah. John does love you. Okay, is that all your, your, your news? Story number three. Biggest jackpot in North America history, $758.7 wow. million. Dollars. Mother of two, Mavis Wanchak. Wanchak? 
53 years old wins. The lucky numbers are 6, 7, 16, 23, 26, and 4. She already oh, quit her. I love how you put that number. Great she detail. already quit her Great job. Detail. I could picture it. Yeah. She already <laughs> could really yeah. picture that winning number. In case somebody forgot picture. it. She already quit wow. her job, and the first thing she wants she to do. She already quit her job. She wants the first thing she wants to do is sit back and relax. Oh, she's gonna lose it. No two week notice. Yeah. She's There's two ways you can drugs. get the money: 29 yearly payments or a lump sum. No, you lump but after sum. tax, after taxes, it's, it's around like 443 million dollars. Yeah. Better than lump sum. Oh, well, that's you not that sum. much. Any day. Especially if you're in your 50s. Yeah, I don't wait until my 70s. Yeah. But well, there are other winners too. Six other tickets won about two million each, and then 34 other tickets won about a million. But oh, she okay, won so all she that. wasn't the only winner. She was the biggest winner. Mavis Wancheck? Mavis Wancheck. Mav uh, Mavis write a check, am I right? <laughs> hey, uh, one a check. Her, her name is literally one a check? Sorry. You know what the odds <laughs> of winning the lotto is? The jackpot? Uh, one in 750 million? Oh, no, it's actually a lot better know. than that. It's one in 292 million. Oh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. You got a shot. Yeah. Just buy 290. So nobody million. died in your news. No one. There's no, some. Deaths, I mean, people some die. People World die every there. day. People die every second. Yeah, we heard about the death in World War II. Is that dehydration? <laughs> some vintage in the yeah, ocean. But it was just, yeah. just in case some you didn't know, people death. die every yeah. second. Every Thanks. second. Yeah. Every second, somebody's <laughs> dying right now. But the yeah. great thing is, every baby is born every second. Whoa! Wow. Every baby. Wow. You know, John every is baby is born. In October. Dude, congrats! Selfishly, right around my birthday, or Omar's birthday, or Peter's birthday. You know, we're all October kids. I know. Yeah. But maybe we just planned it that way. Libras, man. <laughs> All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that was John the News. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, John. John, fix the camera, will you? <laughs> hey, should we do our a new uh, a fan letter opening? Sure. Now, I don't know how we got these letters because we don't give the address out to the show, it's but creepy. Um, <laughs> we did. Probably we that did. weather app service. Yeah, sold is this the from data. the same person? Definitely. Yeah, they yeah. sold Definitely. the data. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this we week. We gave the address out for when you, back when you had kids to send. That was my Instagram DM. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rosario Vidales, otherwise known as Rizophora, uh, sent us something. And we didn't check it for anthrax, although it does, there does feels like there's some stuff in here. We're going to open it on stream. Oh, oh Rosario, don't kill It's probably me. just a letter telling me to stop being on this show. Yeah. <laughs> please, please don't be get nudes. Off this please show. don't be nudes. Or please be nudes. Oh, oh didn't even buy me soda, please. Phone calls, get some of that stuff, Rips. Hey, man. Is that a Jeff? What is it recording? saying to you? Is it like an, an ancient curse that it's like? <laughs> That's your voice. She recorded yeah. our voice. Oh, look at this! Oh, what? it's that! Oh, wow. That's that! That's, That's this! Cool. <laughs> that, that, that. Yeah. Which was the other one? The door Which opens. one did I shoot? How are they in the same spot? Wow. Oh, and that's the title from the. From the... Yeah! The door opens. That's hey, cool. our first official fan mail. My home. I can't, I can't tell what it is. Dear Cass of G, I don't know if I should be reading this. Your live show has brought me so much laughter. Aww. I really enjoy the. The skits throughout, like the Papa John segment and your family Aww. vlogs. A big shout out to Mrs. Annie G. Yes. That's, that's really sweet. Your Bigfoot and Ghost series were amazing, and I really appreciate the nice Casim. In other words, yeah, people would get pretty upset at Californians and going deep these days. Yeah, I agree. May your knickknack and action figure collections grow, and your Kai pictures on Instagram be many. Thanks Aww. for coming back to YouTube. Sincerely, Rosario. Such Rosario. a sweet. Rosario. Such a Thank sweet. Thank you, Rosario. Thank you, Rosario. Yes. Sorry about your kids. Very nice. Very nice P -P thing to add. In. Oh, pee pee. How does no one recall Melodia de Amor? I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, I did a telenovela. Is that the song uh, that plays when you open that? No, maybe. I don't. Oh. No. How would how would she do that? Mine had some very nice words, and at the end it said, "P.S. Kushtopians look strangely like some of the Bath Boys." Huh? I don't see. Anything. Is that for you? That's to you. That's but weird. I'm not good at like. I wonder <laughs> which one is which. In her oh. eyes. I guess. Where's the. Uh, hey, thank you, Rosario, for sending the fan mail. That was very sweet. Mine and Omar's. I think her oh, handle yeah. is Rizzo Fora, P H O R A, Fora underscore V. And she's from Florida. Um, hopefully, I didn't show the address, her home address on the stream. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. Speaking of uh, stuff from fans, I saw a really great comment about Peter on one of the episodes. A uh -oh. good comment? Yeah, it was a like. That's weird. Yeah, it was like. What did it say? Yeah, you know, 
I, I used to not like Peter at all on the show. <laughs> sure. But then I saw him get up and run in sandals, and that shit's not easy. Yeah. So respect. Uh, <laughs> um, I remember that. Man. I remember that. That's comment. what made me like Peter too. I used to fucking hate this dude. And so and not to, and wow. just to hop aboard the train, I recently fractured my toe uh, being in sandals. Oh shoot, yeah, because you got a lot of spider webs around here, and you were. Ducking. I was coming home late at night, and I walked into a spider web, and my. Sandal went like this, oh. curled underneath, and my toes went along with it. Uh, oh Jesus! Why, why would your sandal do that right when a spider web was around? Like that's I was one like, time. I freak. I spazzed. I spazzed can, can out. Can you show one. me? Show me in slow motion how the spaz went. Oh! <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. It was awful, and it was embarrassing. And I couldn't. And here's something else embarrassing. I couldn't do yoga the next day. That's embarrassing. Yeah. That's, embar yeah. that's yeah. embarrassing. That's embarrassing. And then what happened? Yeah. yeah. What happened? Embarrassing for me today at yoga. Oh well. <laughs> Funny enough, you you farted twice today during yoga. Yes, I did. In in a position where your butthole was inches away from your face. Yes, I did. And in yoga, you're you're breathing in and out the whole time. She's reminding you to breathe in and out. Yes, so you were forced to ingest your own fart. You yes, farted I was. into your own mouth. Yeah. Right next to my ex-girlfriend. Imagine you're doing yoga oh, wow. and the, right next to his ex-girlfriend. That's also true. And it, the whole time you do yoga, it's generally <laughs> inhale, exhale. Inhale, deep breaths, and then you just toss a fart in in between, and then inhale, exhale, and, and you, that's how Peter ate his what own farts this pervert. morning. What a pervert. And Mike Diva's here, everyone. We got Mike Diva, Mike Diva, very visionary director. Got a lot of great stuff do on you his do YouTube yoga channel. I don't do yoga. ingest your own Neither farts. of those things. No. No, that's just this fool right here. <laughs> that ain't me, dog. <laughs> that ain't me, dog. Hey, uh, no, no, I'm hey sorry, welcome dog. to the show. <laughs> um, I uh, want to say thank you for coming to the backyard. Thanks for having me. Um, I don't know what you like to be called. I like to call you a filmmaker. Yeah, that's actually, I like that better you than like YouTuber. <laughs> don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would like anything better than YouTuber. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to look in the mirror and realize that that's what you are. You know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I haven't been doing much stuff on, on the internet much lately. I've been focusing on commercials and blah, blah, like blah. Like real work. But yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been fun. So you've been doing a lot of, um, so like when you do a real commercial, you can't put that on your channel because somebody else paid for it. Oh, uh, sometimes you can. Yeah, uh, yeah. I so like a couple of the ones coming up, like they're cool with me putting it on there and it kind of does like apply to the weird shit that I have on my channel already, so. Yeah, and the, and basically your YouTube where they have seen, because you're a fantastic editor too. Thank and you. visual effects artist. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. doing great. Yeah. Um, doing great, Cassie. So your YouTube channel became almost like a resume or portfolio all these companies that needed work done. Yeah, yeah. And so they helped you get real jobs. Yeah. Is that how that works? Yeah, essentially, yeah. Do you have anything, like, what was the last one you worked on, can you say? Commercial-wise? Yeah. Um, I did a couple for Yelp. Uh, oh, Yelp! That, I've heard uh, Yelp. Yelp.com! Yelp. 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 You know Yelp. Yeah. I know Yelp. We know got, Yelp. Um, the one I'm most excited about is this Halo Top one I showed Peter uh, Halo uh, last Top, week. Halo Top the ice cream? Yeah, which is fucking delicious, oh, yeah. by the way. Oh, no, I no. Say that that's not that makes cream. me fart at yoga. Okay, yeah. here's the thing with Halo Top ice cream. And if you guys are watching, this is free advertisement for Halo Top. It is uh, half the calories. 90% fart a, juice. A pint of lemon cake Halo Top. I want to say goes for 280 calories, whereas a Ben and Jerry's same amount, same pint goes closer to 600 calories. Don't slam my boys. Don't oh, slam BJ. Well, yeah. let me just say I'm not slamming them, but if you were gonna get diabetes from one of them, it'd be uh, the Ben and Jays. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, it's a little tastes a, weird. It's got some weird protein does not in it taste that makes you fart. You're ruining yoga. my free advertisement yeah. in hoping that I get free ice cream out of this. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a. I, if you went in my freezer right now. Go. Yeah, show them. I want to show that this is... No, not you. If I knew this was going to get in the way of you getting food, No, no. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. No, I, I'll be okay if I don't get free ice cream. I don't want to be, be the guy treat, who... It's a tasty treat, half the, the calories cream. of a regular ice cream. And um, it's it's got a lot of protein. And they tell you on, on, the, on the pint, it's okay to eat the whole pint. It's okay. Ella's bringing out... Ella, um, a resident Halo Where's Top, Halo Top Wrangler. Buddy? Oh shit, we got that cookie dough, bro. This is a half-eaten yeah, half yeah, lemon please. cake. Uh, even though, like I said, you're supposed to eat the um, whole pint. Uh, it's a half-eaten. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna eat this. Uh, yeah, we'll get him, eat your Halo yeah top. get him a spoon. Yeah, get him a spoon. But get no, this uh, the. Um, Try it out. Mm. What are you making me do? <laughs> what are you making me do here? No, no, don't just put it. Give it to just give it to Omar Ben to see if they're hungry for it. Is this, this like, is, eat it. It's crazy you're doing this for free right here. <laughs> it's just so, we're giving better. You are doing such an ad for free. <laughs> such a, this yeah. is the only way I feel comfortable is when I know it's not, it's for, not real. for real. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Ella, Ella, everyone. 
Tastes great. No one's gonna believe that this is not. No, a this looks like. I swear to God. Only 360 calories. Not a sponsored bit Pretty at sure. all. Hey, let's have. I will eh. prove it to you by. Uh, should I say the N word now? To yeah. completely. I'm not gonna be the guy <laughs> that okays that. Uh, I gotta talk Yum. to my uh, it, my my ad guy before I'm allowed. Yeah, to yeah. Uh, I know this looks like we <laughs> set this all up, but I do just keep Halo Tops in my freezer, <laughs> and I didn't know that he did a commercial for Halo Top or Yelp. And I use Yelp. I mainly yeah. just put in tacos and then my <laughs> zip code, and then that's how I used Yelp. Do you have to re-put it in every time? It doesn't save your tacos? No. You just put it in, in ethnicity, and then whatever comes up. You just... Yeah, brown. Brown. And then the zip code. More Asian friends. Yeah. OK, so like when you do an ad for, let's say, Halo Top, do, you, do they have an idea, or do they go, <clears throat> You know what, Mike? We know you're very creative. We're just going to give you the keys and uh, just let you kind of do whatever. And, and hopefully you do what uh, you do best and we get. Lately, like, it's yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's a given like 50 50 really for Halo Top. They were just like, we have commercials that say what the ice cream does and why they're delicious. Like the fact that there's 360 calories in a pint and it's okay, a tasty it sounds treat like too on much a hot like a commercial. summer day. And um, <laughs> great taste, half the calories of a regular ice cream. If this was an but, ad, I um, couldn't say shit. <laughs> That's the thing. This shit, is fuck. the Halo Top ad. <laughs> nice. They sent me yeah. out here to be on this show. This is the commercial. Shit, fuck, fuck, fuck shit. shit, fuck. It's not fuck. an ad, but fuck. we do enjoy Halo Top. Shit, fuck, fuck. Shit, fuck, fuck. This <laughs> <laughs> is because it's not an ad. Fuck. It's not. We're not even. And I realized that when I had Ella bring out those ice creams, like people are gonna really think this is an ad. Like this, this whole thing is a bad idea. Fuck. It's a, this whole thing is a bad idea. We're giving so much attention. Oh, my sponsor's here. It's Blunts by Omar. All my right. favorite Act person who sponsors the show. Omar decided <laughs> to roll this blunt on this uh, paper telling it's people very, that cats and children are It's very interesting that all of a sudden what? you guys Unbelievable. almost like forget the fact that my kids are still missing and then you were the ones that yeah. just lost them underneath your I mean, careful eye, no heart. your watchful eye. There's yeah. no heart here. No heart. My kids are gone. You have kids? And they're uh, gone. There's a missing poster that's getting kind of yeah. sun bleached. Oh, that's actually. so good. Let me see them. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, tear it off, man. Tear it off. It's a uh, son. Son kind of takes after his mother. Yeah, they're 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 a handful. There you Aww. go. Yeah, those those are my kids. They look just like you. Uh, if you guys have seen, if you guys have seen my kids, um, I just need a heads up, a location. Like we got the location. We think we do. But we, if you if you've seen them in El Segundo anywhere, please let me know. Um, they're supposedly somewhere in El Segundo. Gundo. Okay. So. Sorry, so, sorry about that, Kev. So yeah, it's it's okay. I, I I understand people are probably wondering why we're not talking about it, and um, you just don't have the budget to go find your kids. Right I now. just don't have the money yeah. necessarily to go find them, and my wife has just you she's wanted been gone. to find your kids yeah. maybe weeks ago, but you just don't have the budget, so you kind of have to. It's kind of rich person's well, thing finding your kids. We yeah. just kind of have to have like a regular show. Yeah, they'll figure it out, and then you'll find your kids. Like, and then I'll find my kids. If it were Oprah's kids, what do you think would be happening? Oh, they would have been found. She would have hired Mel Gibson from Ransom <laughs> to find, Give me back my and then they would have okay, they would have carpooled with Lea, Liam Neeson to find their their you, her you're kids. Right. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Next time. So Halo Top. It's a delicious treat. So you do commercials. What about oh, features? Oh Jesus Christ! How Movies? many calories are in those? You did a thing called Girl Scouts yeah, that I, I saw. Peter was in. Yeah, yeah. Do you get Thanks, any, any plans to do actual uh, like scripted stuff? Like yeah, that? yeah. I um I worked with this dude Max Landis. Uh, he wrote this script for me that um he did like Chronicle and American Ultra and stuff like that. And uh, we're uh, pitching it. Uh, we uh, shot a it's like a horror adventure short, starring Craig Ferguson. Oh, uh, nice. And, uh, he's like a crazy mad scientist dude. Um, so we have that in post right now, and then we're gonna be shopping it around and making a feature, hopefully. So that should be you cool. You just got like a real career. I got a lot. I got some fun stuff going on. You just—it's um, not like you just have like a lame backyard uh, podcast show with your buddies. <laughs> you have what? Oh yeah, uh, it's cool. It's all right. We're doing fine. Fine. People think we're. People we're gonna think get we're those doing kids fine. soon. All perspective. This is a top thing on we're my. Get resume. the kids soon. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, what, who's your, what director do, do, do you who do like you, the most? Who do, how, who's your <laughs> who's inspiration? Your you are, buddy. <laughs> you know well, Peter's also a very talented film. He is, actually. No, no, no joke. I Peter met Peter is. on a, on your feature film called Boner, Boner Police. Police. And it's Boner online. Police. You did great in it. There you go, Boner Police. Thanks. I did great because the director was great. Oh, Careful, not on those Halo Top ice creams. Mm. 
I was a fan of Kasim in high school. I watched his videos in high in school. High school? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. You've it's, been around that long? It's it's really. I understand people w used to watch me. I school. still watch your videos. I watch I watch your videos all the time. I love you want you want some of this? Um, favorite director though. Um, uh, uh, probably the Daniels or Michelle Gondry. Mmm, I do like Michelle Gondry. Science of Sleep. Great Michelle Gondry movie. Shout out to Eternal Sunshine. What's Eternal up? Eternal Sunshine. So the, the Smoke of Blunt for Gondry is, is what that, I say. Is that who did Swiss, Swiss Army Man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't like the movie much, but I love their other work. They're like my favorite music directors. Oh, cool. Blah blah blah. Blunts for Gondry. <laughs> my new foundation. So That's how they know it's not an ad because you're smoking blunts yeah. holding the <laughs> There halo we go, top. there we go. Man, Thank you're God. like I feel like you're getting really self conscious about <laughs> this. Oh, I just <laughs> didn't realize how far I stepped into the brand game. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the delicious 360 creams. calorie pint of ice cream, Kasim. That's all it is. Is I the chat, God, is the chat believing us. that this is not an ad? A lot of them don't think this is live, even. How do you say, prove it? Yeah, it's this is like, okay. There, it's also, by the way, there's no reason we have to be doing this live. We just do it. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah. you do live to tape, right? Like you shoot it and then you put. Yeah, it Yeah, I just do that. Live. But no, we actually, that's why you see me screw up all the time, <laughs> yeah, is yeah. because we're actually live. So when I say, hey, welcome, uh, check out, be right back with uh, Mike D, <laughs> that's me screwing up in real time because it's live. That was one of my favorite parts of this episode. Well, they're like, Omar, scratch your nose twice if this is live. And then while you guys are talking, I'm over here like doing uh, this kind uh, of shit, like trying to make it. sure that everybody's happy. What are people saying about this uh, ice cream? Uh, they've never. <laughs> a lot of people's never heard of it. I think we're doing a real. Oh, show. That's it's awesome, awesome man! It's there, it's no. the ice cream for people that don't like to, you yeah. know, right. don't like the guilt of eating. You can ice get it cream. at Vons. but also you shit, can fuck. Get it at Ralph's. Shit, f shit, fuck. Um, Cunts. You can honestly like order some online. I think you can just get Isn't it sent over. Is two hundred eighty calories a lot? <laughs> <laughs> for a whole tub of ice cream. <laughs> well, for you a know pint, what? that's not you know that's not as much as you might think. Right, you know, ice cream is bad when two eighty is like diet ice cream. You know. Like yeah. normally I can't eat something 280, I'm trying to avoid that. Right. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's it's better than 600. Okay. Better than 600. Who am I kidding though, you know? I'm, your, I'm um, Baskin Robbins. Your anime fidget spinner video that we just saw, that was uh, what we call in the business a collaboration. Yes, it was a uh, Corridor Digital. With uh, Corridor Digital, love those guys. Great guys, yeah. great Are guys. Are Amazing they better at effects than you are? Yes. What, is that why you brought them on? No, we- just we, um, physically didn't want to do that work. That labor. Well, that too. But yeah. um, no, I uh, I love collaborating with them. So we, we co-directed it together, uh, and we wrote it in a day, and then shot it that night. Like, um, I would love to have them come here. Yes, yeah, Sam and Nico. The They're sweetest, my boys. Funniest the sweetest boys. boys. Good boys. So talented at those effects. I, I would call them men. Yeah, they're good men. When did that happen? They're, 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 I don't know if they have to be boys anymore. I didn't get invited to the party. Yeah. They've been in the game for so long. But Probably one thing about those boys, they love Halo Top. Oh, oh what's their favorite part about Halo Top, Mike? Oh, it's delicious. It's 360 calories. Oh, what if I just <laughs> pulled your skin back and you were a Halo <laughs> Top ice cream? <laughs> How is birthday cake Halo not type. the most? Only 240 oh, calories and the ingredients are fuck shit balls. Titties. <laughs> titties, titties, balls. It's not an ad. Hashtag not an ad. <laughs> Hey, so um, you Sugar mentioned that you alcohol. like the part of the show that you watch. Uh, yeah. My mom's movie. Oh my god, it's... your mom's my favorite. I'm actually like a bigger fan of her than you. No offense, but wow. like, as wow, as wow, most wow. people, as okay, most okay. people, he's are. honest. Okay. I mean, you know, <laughs> okay, okay, that's a movie. Thing. This okay. week is American History X. Now I don't know if you've been following the news, but the events in Charlottesville have. Um, Caused uh, I have some sort of racial divide. Is there like a screening of American History X there or something? I haven't. Uh, uh, no, there, there. Some bad luau's and some bad whiteies. <laughs> some bad, There's bad been whiteies. Some bad whiteies. <laughs> it sounds like uh, a punk band. My mom from the has early never, has really never seen whiteys. the movie American History X, so we're gonna oh. get. Did you her. get a haircut? She didn't get a haircut. That's She's a beautiful. Just, she blow dried. All right. Wow. Let me get my mom here. She's oh my goodness. Dried. Can I call okay. her mom? Yeah, you can call her mom, mom. Mom, this is Mike. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna. Should I sit here? I'm like starstruck right now. Tell me where the shot's right good. Don't show her the blunt. Don't show her the blunt. Okay, mom. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Hi, mom. Hi. 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 We are uh, just putting the microphone down here. Bing. These guys are passing blunts right beneath no. your nose. Sistine Chapel style, dude. Okay, mom. <coughs> How are you doing? I am fine. Working, dude. I am alone. You're alone? Don't say that. Yeah, daddy. That's not daddy, safe. <coughs> went to the beach. 
He went to the beach. Dad never goes to the beach. <laughs> you know the dad goes to the beach? What? That's yeah. a lie. It's a trap. It's a trap. Something, oh. something yeah. weird is going on. Who's snatched your body, Mom? My Angela, she's a guest. You know, she is the executive chef for the <coughs> She came to spend one week with us. Oh, okay. So, so we you're... took her to the, to the beach. So dad took another woman to the beach is what? what? She's a... A family friend. Okay, and then, then while while they're at the beach, you were at home watching American History X, right? Uh. <laughs> mom, how was the movie? Yes, I did watch the movie, Mom. Let's hear about it. Me about the movie? Yeah. kind of movies. Uh, I don't know if I told you, I, 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 you and your brother is something we call it the devious uh, uh, creatures. They are living among the human beings. Uh, the movie was talking about someone, his uh, uh, premises, his father was killed and he uh, uh, dragged himself to this kind of cult of uh, racism and are you hearing me yeah we can hear you what do you what do you think of what's been happening in the news and ver and kind of like how this movie made you feel like is there how do you feel about uh, well it is uh, it doesn't surprise me uh, uh, if we know we have still this kind of uh, people that are devious Mm. And uh, actually, hate uh, never gets you anything. Mm -hmm. it, hate never you know, gets you anything. Lose them. And uh, actually, it was so weird to happen in this modern, you know, life now. When we are, you know, they came back. Uh, many things, you know, it encouraged them to do that and to go outside from their, you know, and to to make uh, destructions and to, to make plans and I consider this as a terrorist. It mm, is terrorist mm -hmm. like uh, ISIS, like yeah. Uh, um, uh, yeah. Like because don't feel safe. And for me, you can't you know you can't stop those people because they are there and they will remain there because evil. It is there. So, whatever you do, the opposite of hate, it is love. You know, in the time they go out the street and they are holding this stupid uh, signs. No. Go and knock the door of your neighbor. Tell him, come. We are going to go for a picnic. We are going to go and enjoy the day. It is a beautiful day. The love. Go and have a walk. March. To, uh, a children hospital children they are fighting for life go and make them happy have them some you know uh, toys this is the only one way you fight hate when you just show love mm -hmm. those people they have to know if there is still love and the amount of love it is bigger than their hate yes Amen. Wow. Amen. I was thinking there was going to be some fun movie reviews, but she got real. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun how true it is. It's real. It's true Even when he was trying to be straight in the end, he lost the precious things in his life, his brother. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, hate bring hate. The black guy, he killed him. He killed his brother because the black guy, he, <coughs> he knows this guy, he hates him and he want to kill him. So... Nothing came behind, you know, behind this. And the speech, uh, uh, Edward did it in this movie when he was talking to this uh, uh, premises. I think in the same language, our president just said when he was in the election, the same scenario. Go and make comparison. People here, uh, uh, we got, you know, people from uh, uh, over the border and, they, you know, they are less education. They don't come and they talk, you know, our food, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. Same thing. People here, they are, you know, we 
are uh, have no work uh, how how billion of american they don't have work actually the same scenario edward said it when he was giving the speech uh, situation it is a tragedy it is so sad but i have principle the only one thing you can defeat this it is the love love each other go take your friend out the day when you feel like you know those people in the street no today it is beautiful day for picnic i am gonna go to the hotel in you know to, to enjoy children they fight for life i'm gonna do something nice for god this is the way you can fight this that's very well said mom yeah, very awesome. well yeah. said can you be my mom so how many did you enjoy the movie how many falafels do you did you give the movie though overall well, because you know uh, edward he did the, the, the personality he, it was good and uh, something you know it drew my attention when i was watching this movie after he killed uh, the bunch of this black uh, uh, people and the police came to to arrest him looked his eyes and he he thought, you know, he, it is a victory. He did something good. It, the, the, the look, the impression mm -hmm. in his face. Yeah, this guy is mm -hmm. really good. He is a great uh, performance. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know. The director, he was, you know, uh, has some problems. You know, there's a, and I did this uh, separately. Uh, the movie, it was, it, it was good. It was good, but you get out of this which is your father and auntie angela she asked me after i saw the movie said what did you feel i said i feel like shit. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is you, you know me in a bad mood for like half an hour until you know oh my god they are still exist but this is life you know all right uh, so what about those falafels <laughs> Uh, you can give it like two and a half. Just two and a wow. half? <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ. You're you know, ruthless. Really you know. Two and a half the just because the Hulk? was good. His brother, he did the job, you know, uh, the, the, the scene good. Yeah. Uh, uh, My boy, but Eddie there's Perlow. something, you know, I don't know. I did not ask anybody here. When he was taking a shower, mm -hmm. uh, they was hitting him from back. They what, raped him. Why? Yeah, they raped, they, him. they raped him. They they raped his they raped his butt. They, they, why? Had, sex why? they had sex in his butt. Why? In his behind. Her face right now. Her why? face right now is you amazing. Made, you made your mom watch her face. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, so, oh, you made her watch oh, that's, But when you're in prison you're and you're Winona. straight. I I think we the just wall. lost the They wall. hurt they heard him. The wall. They, wall. they heard him. I know your mom's a big Eddie Norton whoa, head whoa, too, whoa, right? Whoa, 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 That's whoa, down whoa, to one falafel, dude. Whoa, 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 you guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. my mom just realized she she watched uh, anal uh, an anal rape scene. Uh, <laughs> that's that's kind of what this this show's and all a about. Stomping. And a I hope you're okay, mom, but that stuff happens. That stuff happens. I wouldn't know. Well, I, uh, Okay, I'm not gonna That's put crazy. it lower. Uh, two and a half, and uh, because it just the, the the story and uh, didn't change your score. I was gonna say you gotta draw the line. And no, by the way, change. the day at the time when they are marching and they have the torch in their hands, looks like the peasant in a village. You know, just it's true. True. I feel like so sorry for them. I mean, yeah. Really, it is sometimes you wanna laugh, and sometimes. Doing. Yeah. And yeah. why do you have to, you know, be against religion? I mean, what this people doing to each other? I don't know. They're I they're butt know. raping each other. Uh, yeah. 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 Thought, mom, uh, not even has to be sexually raped. Uh, raped in, 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 in the thoughts. Mm -hmm. Some people are spitting poison in this people's ears. Mm -hmm. So this is the head of the snake should. Be yeah. Stopped. Okay, mom. Well. And anyway. We're glad you and you. The, 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 
unfortunately some people they are stay here and this is you know what we call it the devious creature yeah all right thanks mom I love thanks you. ed you. thanks you guys streaming we got that uh, american history x recommendation right out of the comments if you guys wanted to watch a movie that does or does not include gay anal rape yeah, yeah. Gainal rape. Uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Bye, mom. We'll see you later. Please nominate this woman for a stream. Is yes. Like, yes. Is it like when we were kids, our parents wouldn't let us watch certain things? So now we have a, a responsibility to not let our parents watch certain things. I think. Yeah, so it's kind of come full circle. Right. I would tell my mom, please, mom, don't watch this movie. She has to know what's out there and what these guys are doing. Oh, okay. Man, so you made her watch a famous movie curb stomping scene. We, we watched. She watched that. The shower scene, and 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 she didn't even change her score <clears throat> when she found out that there was no. rape. So. I got a couple of good American History X tidbits too. Oh yeah, yeah. please. Uh, originally, the ending was supposed to be, you know, how after Eddie Furlong, my boy gets shot in the bathroom, yep. right? Uh, Spoiler. My yep. boy. I mean, come on, <laughs> yeah, we've all yeah. seen. Oh, that. I know, but I have to say, I have to say that as well. Um, Edward Norton was actually supposed to go back to being a Nazi at the end, and the last shot would be him shaving his head again. But the oh. audience, everyone was like, whoa, this is way yeah, too depressing. Like, yeah. <laughs> and but in reality, that's probably what would have happened. Fake news. Shit. And I think, I think it's a much more powerful movie that way, too, because it's about a cycle of hate. Anyways, yeah, like, second, like Taxi Driver. Maybe. Right. Second yeah. fun fact is that it's a great movie to eat Halo oh, Top Ice. Oh, oh, it's only 360 shit. calories oh, per damn. pint. Damn, he got us. Shit cock. Wow. Hey, mm. we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this, and we got a video. Video from uh, Mickey Meyer all the way from El Segundo. We chose, the, we chose the wrong time to smoke that boy. Sunday gun. It was, it was, it was right great. during the most, the most honest. <laughs> it was very, yeah. very raw and real. Yeah. We'll be right back after this, uh, and we'll be right back with more uh, Mike Diva and some El Segundo, and then we'll wrap up the show. What? Why is it that you can't? Uh, England's not doing well financially. Right. Can't you get a? Uh, you call them your mates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're friends. Yeah, know, yeah. Everybody else in the world, they call them mates. Sure. Get a couple of dozen of your mates and go down to that Buckingham Palace and kill the old bag. To what end? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you an old sea captain? What is this shtick that you... I, are you drunk on rum? We were talking outside about why you never sort of, you never guest hosted for some of the... I like, uh, why now I'm beginning never. to realise. But, um... Uh, that's, and yeah, it's, it's what's weird is you're not even drunk. And yet, and yet it's, the illusion of it is extraordinary. Have you had a stroke? Or have you had a breakdown? It's a breakdown. You just had a slight, just a little light like, breakdown on the way in the car. We got Wasp. We got Wasp. Hey, we're back. We're uh, back. We got Wasp. Mike's going to be drawing my portrait. Uh, anything from the chat we need to go over? Uh, they all thought it was great. The, uh, they, their very surprised mom gave it to... Uh, Two and a half falafels. Two and a half falafels. Post rape awakening. Yeah. Other than that, it's this, yeah. uh, baked ziti says what's up. The same same baked ziti as before. Mondo, you can be the lizard king. Uh, You're so generous, Omar. Thank Mondo. you. Mondo. Thank you, Mondo. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you, Mondo. To Mondo. Zachary, shout out to all my fellow vape bros. <laughs> Daniel, the apocalypse, uh, the uh, eclipse was great. The eclipse. Uh, that wasn't yeah. even in John's news. The thing that happens once every thirty years. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't good enough to make it. It was wasn't four. good enough to be in John's. It was news. like four. No one died. Yeah, not Actually. a not a solar eclipse. If a lunar eclipse does. If oh, one yeah. got sick, it was. Somebody it check got my facts. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's been like it was forty years since the last one on American soil. Forty years. Ghetto birds. There's an eclipse. Hey, um, before we go, we got a, a special video from uh, Mickey Meyer, producer of the show. As you guys know, he's very pro El Segundo and trying to get people to move there. So um, we're going to take a quick look at this. We'll come back with Mike Diva's finished portrait, and that'll be it. That'll, that'll be, be it. episode 22. We'll be right back after this. We won't do Omar Social. Preview. Uh, hey guys, I uh, hope your day is gundo. To get away from all the uh, Chad Parker stuff, I thought it might be cool to show you guys a new benefit of Gundo. Um, it's become a major geocache spot. Uh, so my family and I have been all over the Gundo and found cool stuff like this. 
this and this. I just, I love bouncy balls. If you start looking, make sure you check out Freedom Park, uh, the water tower where there is actually a wormhole to another dimension and a lot of great spots near the beach too. Um, all right, well, that's it for me, but make sure you guys get ready for the Gundo Summer Concerts, uh, which will be every Sunday for the month of September, and they'll have some awesome bands like uh, Snake Slayer and Dragon Mind. Yeah! Happy Gundo! Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we missed Are the. We back from the video? We missed the Mickey video. Oh, uh, we'll get. We'll watch it later. I'll end. There, it was probably Vinny, nothing I that we needed to know. I love watching you do acrobatics, sir. No problem. Wow. Mike that was worth it. Uh, Time's I'll almost up, my friend. How much time do I got? Give me a countdown. Well, buy him some time, Omar. He needs a second. <laughs> okay. Uh, shout out to George Clooney in the in the chat. Wow. Finally. Welcome. George Clooney. We went uh, 22 episodes. Ocean's 11, 12, 13. Welcome. Uh, shout him out. Yep. Uh, Bake ZD thinks that we should have a segment where we all rate your outfit every episode. Oh, this is a solid 8.5. No, because uh, I, I I went back to the top of the lineup. This is the outfit I wore in the first episode. I'm getting nostalgic, so man. You're going to make me cry. Right, There's dude. only 22 different outfits I can put together. Back when we were young and, uh, men, yeah, brother. So if you want to rate my outfits, like just go back. Fuck, uh, Cass, remember when? Uh, Andy Vares. Yeah, we've been doing it for 22, oh, 22 weeks. That, I, rem I still remember that day. Wow, you really are crying. <laughs> Andy Vares says, Happy Gundo is a shithole. Literally the dumping ground of L.A. Uh, watch it, dude. Watch it. Jeez. Who's that, Chad Parker? <laughs> it means yeah, second, actually, in Spanish, it means second. So. Uh, Natty Nice, what's yeah. up? Cold Sheldon Brennan, David first. Gomez, Bad Arcade, yeah, it's weird. Danny B. Oh, and I want to give a special Dude, shout they're out all there? to Rosario Vidales yes. for the Thank the you, Rosario. Mail. Oh, Rosario. Very nice this is the sweetest, sweetest letter. So Thank nice you. of you to send that. Still and um, I'm going to put this right next to where I put all these, uh, these portraits that everyone draws. Mike Diva, you're up in five, four, three, Two, one. All right, so there's you. <laughs> you got your wheels. You got your neck. Your, dra your half draft. Wow. Holy you got shit! Your, your dick hanging out there. Dude, yes. Is that my donger? Always. Yes. Wow. Donger is that my donger? The yoga is paying off, Cass. I'm looking yeah, at that flexibility. He's, he's really reversing flexible. that. Wow. I have um, two front hooved legs. Yeah. And then back wheel. Yeah. Which is That's made out of <laughs> cinema tape from it's the a film. film canister. Yeah. Nice. Halo Top presents. That's pretty good. It could just be good. a film canister of dong. <laughs> yeah. Where my dong is the, the end of the scene. movie. They found that your was grandfather. You found it in your attic. It's your grandfather. What he looks like. <laughs> That's right. Your grandfather's dick pic right and there. And if you watch it, uh, it, 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 there's a curse that falls upon us <laughs> and, my, and me and my friends unless we're able to find the amulet. Exactly. Oh. Okay. Well, that's we have the good. budget for hey, that? thanks, Mike Diva. Thanks for coming on the thanks show. You guys can check him out on Twitter at Mike Diva, YouTube at Mike Diva, Woo. Instagram at Mike. Diva? Yeah, yeah. Hey, all right. You can find Peter Gilroy at Peter Gilroy, YouTube.com at Peter Gilroy. I just wanted to say my cartwheel was sponsored by Halo Top. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Halo Top. Not counters. sponsored by uh, Halo Top. Every week I'll do a car, uh, gymnast move. If they do want to send us ice cream or just straight Halo up Top. cash, we'll take it because we, God knows we could use it to see if we can find my kids, right? Am you I do, right? You need that Halo Top money for your kids, yeah. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Vinny Bruiser. We play oh, Rocket right. League after every Thursday's show. Vinny Bruiser does a behind the scenes on his Twitch channel, on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash cashmg. With a Blair Witch we filter on. Games. I have a Blair Witch filter on. Yeah, Great you got a weird, because he's got an iPhone 5, so everything just looks weird <laughs> on it. Uh, Omar is at Uthmar on Instagram yeah. and best Omar ever on Twitter. And John Na, at John Nana and John, John Nana on Documenting Instagram. cults. Photo documenting cults. I look like I'm shot on the iPhone 5. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in episode 23. So long. Hey. So long.